What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Future Stars Icon Petite. He is a 90 rated and he has jumped up from his previous version of 87. He's got one at Play Star Plus which is Anticipate, which I think he had Relentless prior to this. So a big upgrade for him. He is coming in at 750,000 coins, which is a little bit more expensive than what you'd want. Free star, free star. So unfortunately, we've had no bonus there. He is controlled lengthy. He's got a left foot and he has a high high. He can play left back, center back, CDM or left wing back if you should choose. Decent pace. All the stats above 80, which is always nice. And he has got power shot, incisive, intercept, slide tackle, press proven and relentless on the play styles as well. So a decent amount from him. In terms of a CDM, I've always liked him as his normal base. He started to run out and, and definitely needed this upgrade 100%. But most definitely, I wouldn't be overlooking this card, especially if he does drop down in value. I think he could have a very, very good move into your team. The only thing letting him down is going to be that free stuff, free stuff. So let's just jump straight into him. I've gone with the shadow for the pure pace purposes. Let's see what he can do. Are you looking for gift cards, game keys, and more? Head over to U7Buy for a variety of cards you can get today. From PSN, Steam, all the way to Xbox. With huge amounts of price variations, check the link in the description for cheap, reliable, digital cards for you right now. Right then, let's give him a go. I, I feel like Petit should actually be a really decent card. The only thing that, that I'm kind of a bit annoyed at that he didn't get the double, I feel like that should have been a main priority for him, to be honest. It's it's a shame. It's the same as Rooney. Like he, They have a decent upgrade. They look decent enough, but... I just, I would kind of liked a, a double just to add something different to the card. I know with Petit especially, he's got that anticipate, which is phenomenal for the card. He's always been good at holding on to the ball, which is perfect. You can kind of just sit here and ping the balls on for him and just try and get back as much as you can. It's going to give it to him. Look for him again. Go for the Garincha inside. Look for that finesse. And it's beautiful. He stands at that edge. I don't always need him there because naturally I'm going to have someone like Aputiela as Zidane going next to him. So they would be my more attacking options. And I want him here running the play, running the midfield, getting the ball back. And then we can kind of stretch up the field as much as possible. So that would be where I'd want him like coming back here, putting the pressure on Stoichkov and just being a bother. Being able to, to kind of make them rush that pass, we can then pass it out. He's a standard CDM that works really, really well for the ball. So I'm hoping that Anticipate does do him absolutely proud. Is this guy completely stopped playing? We're going to wing a ball over. Probably the worst option when he's not playing. Is he still not playing? Was that, was that AI? Was that AI? Was that, yeah, AI. Wow. This is where we're going to need him on this defense. Watch that run. Oh, beautiful. Gets the touch. That is exactly what we want from him. Can we find a bit of link up play again? He's, he's got the high, high work rate. So he's naturally going to push forward as much as possible. Great ball into Eto and, and Virgil. That was a poor run. I was just going straight. And again, into the inside of it. See, the incisive pass would have been beautiful for him. Get that touch inside bring it back or a power shot something to, to kind of let loose here would be absolutely amazing what is he is he a left foot he is a left foot it would have been nice as well i feel like with the double play star plus i can understand if we had no uh, kind of skill move or weak foot bonus but the fact that we were still looking at a free star free star i'm that's a good save. I'm, I'm kind of annoyed with that factor. Like with Rooney, got the 4-4 in the end, which is always nice. So I can I can understand where they're going with that. But we've only keeping the 3-3. Free free. Yes, we got the anticipate, which is definitely a more it, it's a more desired play style plus, definitely, especially in comparison to Relentless. That's that is a fair enough, but a double would have been just perfect, even if it was something like a power shot, something different that maybe isn't going to be utilized every moment of every game but at the least give him the double i feel like that that's a, a must with a lot of these icons now as we find him across he's going to look to bring it back beautiful and straight out into petite we're going to make a little bit of a run can we get that ball that's a good challenge from Dave. davies has been nothing but a problem in the past few games lovely footwork as well Little ball, double ball roll into the pass. Nice. We're going to find the attack. He's looking for Mbappe as we get him back. We're going to go back one. Petite. 
Little spin. Oh, he's got such ball control. There's him back. Oh, I was offside anyway. That's fair enough. Good interception. Oh, doesn't hold on to it. Leads the attack. He's going to look for that Stoichkov run. Technical in full flow. No, I was going to say, I don't want technical on him, to be honest. I think when it comes to a CDM, if I've got technical on you, it, it, it's not being utilised at all. Lovely. Interception. Little play. He's just diving in on, on Petit's feet. That's absolutely fine as Petit 100% has it. Eto maybe not as much. There it is. Gets that left foot. Beautiful. Finds the Traveller. Back to him, back to him, back to him. Nice. Little spin into Mbappe. He's going to come back across and Maldini's got it every day of the week. So going into the overall form then, it's gone up a little bit to 770, which is always nice for budget. But in terms of the card, I I can see him dropping. There's no way that he stays at that level. The anticipate's fantastic. Obviously the stats, it's a nice upgrade from his 87, 5 on the pace, as well as the passing and dribbling, 3 on absolutely everything else. Like we said, he does have the freestyle freestyle still, which is going to be a bit of a downer for the card. But then you've also got quite a decent amount of also play styles. And I think it's the one thing to remember, even though the play style plus is the it it's it's almost a focal point if you don't see it like for instance the anticipates there it's on the card you see it you don't see all of these and you don't take into consideration how many other styles people have as well and it may not be the number one uh, factor for him but definitely a nice add-on 100 percent. when we look at cdms in terms of their position when we're looking at the price 770 is a decent amount like we're looking at matthias at 14 double the price steven gerrard 940 it's a good price as well but i must admit when you look at um orbidorf intercept bruiser double play style 95 rated some very good stats for out you kind of looking a little bit on petite you're thinking well pace wise very similar that's fair enough shooting i'm not too fussed about she has better on everything else obviously but in terms of how close the defending it's only four away four is a difference but it's not a, a difference maker I wouldn't say it's absolutely crazy or absurd to think. And then I'm thinking, is he better than Ramos? I must admit, I like Ramos's body style. Four-star skiller. It's got the uh, weak foot, sorry. Anticipate on the play style plus as well. There's the arguments between them. But then the factor of Petit having the free, the free chemistry bonus as well as leagues and nation is always going to be a big factor whenever we look at icons. We go a bit further down. You look at Sadorf. You look at Makalele. Again, I... You'd argue, you'd really argue with Makalele. The only difference is anticipate versus block, and it would be that kind of debate. So the big thing when it comes to should you get Petit or should you go and get a Crespo, a Sadorf, a Rooney, is what do they end up at? I can tell you right now that I wouldn't buy him for 770. If you packed him, 100% of you. Fits in your team, perfect. But I'd never go and buy him for that much. Whether he drops down into the four, into the five, six hundreds, then maybe we could be on a talking point. I feel like he'd be then above the competition in terms of price. Overall, really like him. I think he's got a great tackle on him. His physical presence is nice. Pace is decent enough with a shadow. You obviously got the anticipate, which works its wonders in that defense. And in terms of dribbling, wasn't awful. He's not necessarily going to carry the ball consistently, but definitely pushing it forward then five yards absolutely works out so let me know down below what you think and i catch you all for the next one peace